Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking which one is better, Healing Stream Totem or Cloudburst Totem when you're playing Restoration Shaman. We're going to cover both Mythic Plus and Raid, and if you want to see a full Restoration Shaman guide for Mythic Plus, you can check the description below or the cards above. And last but not least, if you want to support the channel, you can get some extra perks by using the YouTube memberships or my Patreon page that you can also find below. Now let's talk about Totems. The first thing that we need to mention is that Totemic Restoration Shaman has a talent that is currently broken and bugged. It's called Reactivity and it's supposed to make your Healing Stream Totems heal a second target for 50% effectiveness. However, the bug makes it heal that target for 100% effectiveness, which means double the healing. And this has been reported many times, but it still hasn't been fixed. So that brings a lot more value to Healing Stream Totem if you are playing Totemic Hero Talents. So just keep that in mind, eventually that's going to get fixed, which is going to reduce the value that you get from HST a little bit, but this is not going to affect a lot what we're going to say next. Now let's start with Mythic Plus and Cloud Burst Totem. The first thing to keep in mind is that CBT accumulates healing over time, so once you press that button, you need to be pumping and pressing a lot of other healing buttons to get value from the spell. If you drop it and you do nothing, you're not going to get any value out of it. And vice versa, the more healing you do, the more the Cloudburst is going to heal for. The second very important thing is to know that Cloudburst provides a burst of healing in a very specific moment in time. So it requires more skill and precision if you want to use it. And you can check my video for the best Restoration Shaman Week Chorus, which has one that is going to tell you exactly when to drop it before important boss mechanics in Mythic Plus. Long story short though, because of those two specifics of the Cloudburst, it gets more value in higher keys because there is more to heal there, which is going to charge the Cloudburst for more. And there's also the fact that in higher keys, there's a higher demand for burst healing in order to survive a lot of incoming damage. Because of that, I would recommend for you to use the Cloud Burst Totem only in high keys. Because in low keys, the value is diminished as you're not doing that much healing overall, so the Cloud Burst is going to also do less. And you can also easily get away without burst of healing in lower keys, making your life there much more easier by playing the Healing Stream Totem. Now, I'm not saying that you cannot play the Cloudburst in lower keys, you can definitely do so, you can get value out of it, you can practice for higher keys, so if that's your cup of tea, definitely do so. On the other hand, Healing Stream Totem now does a lot more healing up front because of the Living Stream talent, and if you're playing Totemic, dropping the Totem is also going to drop an automatic chain heal, which is basically exactly the opposite of Cloudburst Totem because now you're getting a burst of healing up front once you press the button and not later on. This is completely different playstyle because Cloudburst is preemptive and you need to set it up correctly while Healing Stream is reactive and you get the healing once you press it in order to heal up damage that already happened. That's a big plus for lower keys as well, as people are usually eating mechanics there in the face and you need to very quickly heal them up before the next damage event happens. And even though you're getting less value from healing stream if you're playing Farseer Shaman, as you don't get the double healing and the instant chain heals, you can still play that in lower mythic plus keys, as again, you don't have that much need for burst healing, but eventually you need to start thinking about switching to Cloud Burst because as explained before, you're going to get more and more value out of this button as the key levels start to go higher. And if you ask me, what is the key level at which I should switch? Oh, well, that's entirely up to you. If you're playing Totemic, you can actually get away playing with Healing Stream Totem probably all together. And for Farseer, once you start feeling that you're falling behind on boss mechanics and you cannot keep up with the damage, oh, well, probably having an extra cloud burst in that specific moment is going to do a lot of help. And last but not least, let's talk about the raid. Now, in raid, you don't have the luxury to switch between Farseer and Totemic because Totemic is right now the clear winner there. That means that if you pick Healing Stream Totem, you're going to get the broken version with the bug doing a lot more healing. 
which of course is much easier to play and you see a lot of people actually opting to do so in the beginning of the raid especially as you're going to get a lot of passive value of the totem and you don't have to worry about timing the cloud bursts. However, let's mention something else here. All the overhealing that you do actually goes into the cloud burst. It doesn't go into the meters, but it goes into the cloud burst. So if you use that spell correctly, you have the potential to do a lot more healing compared to the healing stream totem, which is basically the same amount every time. Even more so, if you time correctly the cloud burst, all that healing is going to hit the raid in exactly the moment when you need it after a hard mechanic and a lot of incoming damage. So the conclusion, you can definitely get away with using healing stream totem, especially right now when it's still broken. But if you want to excel and you want to squeeze more out of the restoration shaman, you need to learn how to play with cloud burst. It's a lot more tricky, it requires a bit more skill, but if you nail it, you're going to outperform easily the healing stream totem. So those are my two cents on this topic. Let me know which one you're using in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I'll see you guys there. Now get out of here.